there needs to be full peace across Ukraine for any final agreement with Russia to come into force, said David Arkamia, the head of the Ukrainian delegation. He wants all Russian troops to retreat from Ukraine and return the three and a half million refugees who fled the war. He added that there was enough material in Ukraine's proposals to warrant a meeting between Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky and Russian President Vladimir Putin. Regarding the question of Crimea, this is a separate point of the agreement in which we propose to fix the position of Ukraine and Russia. For the next 15 years, we propose to hold bilateral negotiations regarding the status of Crimea and Sevastopol separately. In other separate point, we propose that Russia and Ukraine will not employ armed or military forces to solve the question of Crimea during the time of negotiations. The implementation of this agreement about security guarantees will follow a certain procedure. Firstly, a referendum for all Ukrainian citizens to give their position on this agreement and how it should be implemented. After that, there will be a ratification by the parliaments of the guarantor countries and the Ukrainian parliament. This is crucial. Therefore, we must have the support of the society before we can consolidate this agreement. Regarding the temporarily occupied territories of Donetsk and Luhansk regions, those issues are brought to another separate point, which will be discussed between the presidents of Ukraine and the Russian Federation. Our proposition has not been accepted by Russia yet. We are just handing it over to the Russian side today. We say this is our position. We give you our official position, and then we will wait for their answer. We think that we have worked through enough material so that a meeting between the presidents of Ukraine and the Russian Federation can be made possible. We have sent the proposal regarding the presidential meeting to the Russian side and are waiting for their answer. The position of Ukraine doesn't change. We recognize the international borders of Ukraine as of 1991. There are no compromises or red lines here. We only sign a deal that includes such a statement. Russia can, of course, have its own version of this as they've recognized Crimea as part of Russia. That's their right to speak about it like this, to fix their position like this. But the Ukraine position is clear and stable. It's not under any discussion whatsoever. Presidential advisor and member of the Ukrainian delegation, Mikhailo Podolyak, said Turkey, Germany and Poland could be among Ukraine's security guarantors. Turkey, Germany, Poland and the agreement will be open for other countries to join. The crucial point is the possibility to receive security guarantees from the guarantors to stop the current conflict, the war. Ukrainian negotiators said they had proposed at the latest round of talks with Russia that Ukraine adopt neutral status in exchange for security guarantees, meaning Kiev would not join military alliances or host military bases. Podolyak added that Ukraine would have to hold a referendum before any peace treaty with Russia is agreed. Russia promised to scale back military activity around Ukraine's capital Kiev and the northern city of Chernihiv. Deputy Defense Minister Alexander Fomin presented the move as a goodwill gesture. Due to the fact that the talks about the treaty on neutrality and nuclear-free status of Ukraine and on providing security guarantees for Ukraine are moving to a practical phase and taking into account all the principles discussed today, Russian Defense Ministry, in order to increase mutual trust and create the necessary conditions for further negotiations and achieving the ultimate goal of agreeing and signing the above-mentioned treaty, made a decision to radically, by a large margin, reduce military activity in the Kiev and Chernihiv directions. We proceed with the understanding that relevant essential decisions will be made in Kiev and that proper conditions will be created for further work. He did not refer to the eastern and southern parts of Ukraine, where Russian forces are also conducting major offensives, but have struggled to make headway. Russia's chief negotiator, Vladimir Medinsky, said that proposals will be reviewed by, by Vladimir Putin.